I'm on my uh, friend's laptop. I'm still on vacation. I wanted to talk about some of the changes. I don't even know if you guys can really hear me. I'm <laughs> just testing this out. Uh, the normal tower computer is not here for some reasons, so I'm just going to have to just uh, wing it here. They've changed quite a bit. Uh, you saw at the beginning uh, there was a new NPC. Uh, what that NPC does is it allows you to use points. I'm not really sure how the point system works. It seems like it's kind of bugged or something. But you get points and you can choose a random starter weapon or random uh, consumable items. So you do have a little bit more persistence whereas before you started with nothing and sometimes you get stuck with no good weapons at all until you're quite a bit to the run. So they've made the first floor shorter, uh, the other floors are longer, but because of the way that the game is structured, uh, you know, if you complete a room like this one, all the adjacent ones are revealed. Uh, the game is actually not much longer, but you have more opportunities to farm, so therefore the game can be a little more manageable. Uh, also, the challenge rooms, uh, there is no forced challenge anymore. The challenge is basically coming from these items. You get these challenge items here. Like this one, if you get hit more than five, if you don't get hit more than five times, then you'll get a uh, bonus. So you have to buy these to get the bonuses down, but at the same time, uh, all the challenges are only one way only. So the game flows uh, quite a bit better than it did before. I'll be doing a, a more in-depth video once I get back home in a couple days, but I just wanted to throw this out. It seems like I'm like the only channel that's really covering this game, so I wanted to get this out sooner than later. Also, the uh, third attack on the, uh, the broadsword got changed to the monster. It comes out a little faster. Also, the helm breaker, you can cancel like the moment it hits. It's pretty nice. Uh, if you want to do the finisher, but there's a hazard, you know, right down below in your path, then you can just cancel, dash cancel straight out of it. So I'm just gonna do the first floor here. I'll, I'll do a full run once I'm home. I don't know if there's a laptop can even handle this, so I'll have to wait. One about this game's animation, but the as soon as it drops, it's super satisfying to pull off. So there's the first floor. Uh, that's the majority of the changes. They also did add some new stuff to the talent tree. Uh, they removed some of the talents as well. I'm sure you noticed if I go back to the shop, there's way more items than there were before. They actually removed the talent that made it so that the shop would sell more things. Uh, he always sells. 8 items by default, but the ones in the bottom row are way more expensive. So the top you have some of the lower end stuff, some consumables, and there's always one challenge item. So you can spend these as much as you want. Uh, it's generally worth it, especially now that the uh, combat rooms are only one way. It's a lot easier to uh, justify going through there. It's worth it sometimes, it's just, it seems like the rank or the reward you get depends on the rank of the combat room. So if you do it on the easiest rank, which is just a picture of the skull, you don't seem to get much. But if you do one with the, uh, the skull of the crown, it seems like the rewards are higher. I'm not really sure. The English translation of this is still not the best, so I can't really comment too much. Uh, also, the uh, upgrading altar, you can only use it once per shop. But as an upside, uh, there can be more than one shop 
first floor, whereas before there was only one shop. So now, uh, you do have to think a little more carefully. I guess it's to balance the fact that you seem to get exponentially more money from the, uh, the challenge items than we did from just having everyone be a challenge at the default. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. So let me go into the uh, second floor if you guys can see how much longer it is. I don't know if you call it longer, I guess you can call it wider. <laughs> Like, see, this is a little bigger than before. The, the length increases, or the width increases as you uh, get farther down. But the run length is actually not much longer at all, unless you decide to farm pretty much everything, which you can do. Uh, I've saved some runs like that <laughs> in the past. Uh, it's definitely a lot more fun to play on the harder difficulties now than it was before, because they seem to have added some kind of value to all the monsters, which means that uh, the rooms can't just be full of really hard monsters like the, the evil flower guys. Like, you can't have like a room full of them and a bunch of the golems and stuff like that at once. Uh, there seems to be a hard limit, so therefore uh, it's a lot easier to get through, but at the same time, uh, if you spend too much time exploring, you can definitely kind of jeopardize your run that way. Anyway, I'm going to end there. I don't know how well the video is going to turn out or anything. I just wanted to test this because I kind of have not made a video in like almost two weeks. <laughs> it's just one of the catch up with you guys. I will do a better um, you know, patch overview once I get home in a few days. Anyway, see you guys later. Peace.